Good morning. I want to take you to see a couple of olive trees. I'd like you to, that's a palm tree. <laughs> this is not a palm tree, but here are olive trees. Maybe we can see the difference. First of all, we see these olive trees here. And there's one olive tree I want you to notice why it's different. You have to tell me which one is the different one as we go along. Which olive tree is different? We're going to see a series of them. Did we find a different one already? It's this one. So what's different between this one and this one? has less branches because it was pruned. It was actually pruned pretty roughly in some spots. And the question is why was it pruned? And this one was not pruned. And I was missed. So why was why were all these pruned? I'm happy that the one was missed. You can see a lot of light through this one. Because the harvest is much better when they're pruned. The tree comes back with a vengeance. And we did it. We actually pruned two years ago in January. And this year we prune them again two years later. And just from this, these olive trees here and a few on the outside, we had 23 big yellow drums of olive oil when they came back from the oil press where they were, they were pressed. So by pruning them, there's a lot more fruit. And that's our reading today. We should come back when the sun is a little higher. We get it right in the frame of the bell there. If I don't do it on this live stream, I might do it right away on the Instagram afterwards because I want to do the olive trees on the Instagram as well. So these trees are going to bear a lot more fruit because of the pruning. And the pruning is very severe. Don't cut my branch. And this is precisely the, the allegory that Jesus uses today to teach about the deepest mysteries of life. And this, sometimes when I'm explaining this to the pilgrims, I ask them a question, have you ever thought about the brilliance of Jesus, his IQ. And we can see it in many places in many ways. Most people haven't thought about that. But when I joined the Vision 49 years ago, there was a book we read 
about Jesus. One of the books we read about Jesus was by a, a French scholar. A very beautiful book about the human, the human qualities of Jesus. As the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And today's reading is very interesting. He says, I am the vine and you are the branches. This one was also very severely pruned. And there's even a support here to keep up the branch because obviously it's a very, very old olive tree. You can see more branches that were pruned here and up here. There's lots of space for new growth to emerge. An amazing tree, isn't it? You can see that gaping hole through it there. So he says in this text, I am the vine and you are the branches. My father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch that does not bear fruit and every one that does he prunes. And that's a reality in life that we find difficult when we're pruned. Maybe it's just a simple correction from somebody. Maybe it's a health issue that crops up. Maybe it's a dear relative who has a very short time to live. And we can even feel the pruning happening both in the person and in ourselves because we're losing that contact in this way with this very dear family member. Maybe it's a financial problem. I don't have the money. Inflation has caused great pressure on our budget. The industry in which I work has had a major downturn. Or one year at home when I was a child, we lost two cows. And that was a very big hit. For, for my father, for our family. Maybe somebody loses a job. A lot of pruning goes on in life. And as we get older, especially through the grandparent years, that age group, we get a lot of pruning. Eyesight is not the same. Memory is not the same. 
imagination could still be strong. Hearing joints, so many things. We're being pruned. Or for children, they want to do things and the parents say, no, not, not now. And to do it tomorrow is like an eternity away. Pruning. And she says to bear fruit. To bear fruit. All the struggles in life, all the trials in life, they're for pruning. This is Jesus revealing the deepest mystery of every single setback and problem we endure. We can always try to fix some of the problems. Obviously, we go to the doctor to get healing, medicine for our... We take extra rests or overcome a cold. But we had to cancel some plans. Pruning. And how to live with the pruning. To live, to know that my father is the vine dresser. And that he's pruning with great purpose in my life. He doesn't bring about the evil, but he gives me the grace that that evil can be very fruitful in my life. That difficulty, that challenge, that setback, those plans that were frustrated and foiled. And the wonderful thing about this teaching that Jesus gave, his, as he explains that the meaning and the purpose of the deepest frustrations in life, that he does it in such a way that even a child can understand, a child that was working with mom or dad, pruning the trees in the garden. And the child doesn't know how to read or write. And another dimension of this teaching is that it is very motivational. It's not just giving us information, but we actually want, we can accept, our will can come around to even rejoice over the pruning. And that often happens later in life. When we realize, you know, we realize that it, was, it wasn't all that bad. Actually, good things happened. I remember an accident a confrere had, and in Nebraska, we were there doing mission appeals in parishes, and he had a lot of loss of blood. But in the hospital, they discovered that his blood pressure was normal. And so that's how he discovered he had high blood pressure. And then he got the proper medical treatment to deal with that for the rest of his life. And he discovered it through an accident. I just read in one thought this morning because I'm always impressed with that thought since the first time I read it with awareness. I wish you many blessings if you're experiencing any kind of pruning or it's coming down the road at you. Then look for the, the serenity to deal with it and the great benefit it will bring to your life. God bless you. See you later, alligator.